Okay, joined by Dublin Senior Hurler Chris Crummy here at Parnell Park at, at AIG's uh, Championship launch. Um, Chris, we'll talk about the Championship, I guess, and there's an All-Ireland Championship uh, awaiting for you in a few weeks' time, uh, the All-Ireland quarter-final. But firstly, you'll talk about the Leinster final. Obviously, disappointment to lose the Leinster final against uh, Kilkenny uh, last weekend, but I'm sure you'll take a huge amount of positives from the game, especially considering the circumstances that you found yourselves in before throwing. Yeah, absolutely. Like Overall, we're disappointed to lose the game, but... Looking back and reviewing it, there's certainly massive positives to take from it, especially in the first half. Um, so we'll just look to take the, take the learns from the game on Saturday and bring them into two weeks' time against uh, another tough test. Um, it's obviously, uh, uh, during the league and, and even in the early stages of the Championship, Matty you know, discussed all the time about how you're building a panel and kind of taking step by step and, and growing a, a panel here and, and growing structures here, I guess, in place. Uh, for, for the championship ahead. How do you assess the campaign so far? Because it's been a pretty positive championship campaign. Obviously, the win over Antrim in the first round and the win over Galway in the semi-final as well. Two big wins for yourselves. And again, a good performance against Kenny the last day as well. Yeah, definitely. We, we've been building uh, game by game. Like against Antrim and Galway, there were two good performances. And, and as I said, like against Kenny, there was uh, part, parts of the game where we were really, really happy with. But um, I suppose it's, 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 it's going to be a new test now in two weeks and those performances probably won't be good enough against them so we really need to, to, uh, to make sure we work on, work on those things um, from Saturday night um, and, and bring them in, bring them into the game in two weeks like there's massive learnings to take from the Kilkenny game uh, as there is positives but um, it's just important that we bring them into the game in two weeks. Yeah, and obviously you don't know who you're going to be facing yet at this stage. The draw hasn't been made for the um, All-Ireland quarter-finals but as you say there's uh, plenty to take learnings and positives to take from the uh, three games that you've had so far in the championship and also the five games in the league and you'll be able to maybe uh, work on those over the next week or so in training and heading into that all Ireland quarter final. Yeah definitely um, that's it. it's, it's great to be training in such great weather at the moment and um, like the, the game lens the finals and all Ireland quarter finals they're, they're the games that you train for and there's massive positivity and energy within the group at, at the moment and uh, we're just delighted to have another chance in two weeks to, to right the wrongs from Saturday. Yeah and finally um, I'm sure you felt it on the pitch on Saturday at Crow Park we certainly felt it when we were in the in the stands uh, the big crowds that were there there were 18,000 people in Crow Park on on uh, Saturday evening and at one point in the second half uh, there was a huge cheer went up around the ground uh, that said come on you boys in blue and it was pretty spine tingling, to be honest, uh, sitting there. I'm sure you felt it as well on the pitch. How important and how big was it and how big, how big has it been to have supporters back in the grounds over the past few weeks cheering you on? Yeah, it's been absolutely unbelievable to have them back. Like The atmosphere on Saturday, well, well as you said, only 18,000 people there. It felt like a lot more. Uh, and to hear them cheering and, and seeing Kwanya was in the first half was, was brilliant. And hopefully now in, in two weeks' time, um, there'll be something similar like that crowd again, if not even more. Um, it definitely gives a massive boost to all the players on the pitch and we know uh, we have such a, a, a mad and keen Dublin Hurling following that supports us uh, throughout, the con uh, throughout the country in the league and championship and uh, it makes a massive difference to have them in the stands cheering us on.